And Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN Yemi Kadozo, has announced on Friday that the foreign exchange market has received a boost of over $1 billion in liquidity in recent days. Speaking during an interactive session with the Senate Committee on Banking, Insurance and other financial institutions, he told lawmakers that the foreign exchange market saw over $1 billion in liquidity within the past few days through the CBN interventions. And the Senator are asking the CBN to give explanations on the state of the economy and the sharp decline of the Naira in the foreign exchange market. Yes, I believe the pre markets supply and demands will now be able to dictate what your plan should be. Would you be right to say that the exchange rate today we are paying is commensurate to the demands? If it is in what sector? The most important sector in that culture, when people are hungry, that, does not, that, that means it's not working. That will serve Nigeria and the South will have different issues. Look at our population. It's because of dollar, dollar, dollar. Are we going to dollarize the country? The answer is no. We must go back. To abolish the use of dollar. Using of dollar in any shop, in any hotel, in any place in Nigeria should be abomination. Nobody should use dollar for any transaction in Nigeria. Nobody should receive a dollar of except the authorized dealers. And what this effort has been made to bring to book those 2.7 billion dollars, and billion dollars that you say that they have to the documents. Who are the Nigerians that fund these documents? You must bring them to the focus. On the demand side of managing the issue, today the money supply is estimated as about 75 trillion and around. But we all know that a billion in that 75 trillion we have a 30 trillion ways and means that ordinary people should have been, and it's a temporary agreement that you have made. But what we have in our hands is that we have structured it into a 40 year instrument at the subdued interest rate of 90 while responding to the myriad of economic challenges the country is currently facing, CBN chief explained that the over $1 billion that has come into the market has answered the question of if the federal government policies are working. Upwards of the past few days, we have had over $1 billion that have come into the market. Over $1 billion. And this, quite frankly, is the answer to the question, because we, the question was raised, was raised as to how do we know that your policies are working? And in fact, we were challenged to, to, to say that in fact they are not. And I would argue that with the numbers speaking and saying what is going on, the, the, the market has been responding to the policies that we have put in place. Our measures aimed at improving US dollar supply into the Nigerian economy. And I say that we've already started to see, begun to see shifts in a positive direction. Indeed, they've already started yielding with early results with significant interest from foreign portfolio investors, which was, uh, which was a concern, that have already begun to supply the much needed foreign exchange to the economy. And the CBN governor also reassured that inflation is expected to decline this year using the inflation targeting framework and moderating to 21.1%. Cardoso said the volume of trade in the foreign exchange markets in the past few days has exceeded what the bank has seen in years, which signals growing investors' confidence. However, as I have mentioned in previous engagements, these costs are temporary and our decisions will address a lot of fundamental issues 
following Nigeria's macroeconomic landscape and ultimately put us on a surer path to prosperity. What do I mean by this in addition to everything else? It is that the monetary side can do so much. The fiscal side also has a major part to play. The monetary side does help in cushioning the volatility. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.